Hi, this is Dave Rudin at FCAC Football Media Day, and joining me right now is UConn bound and Staples tight end, Ryan Fitton. Ryan, how's the team looking so far in preseason? Looking pretty good. We've been working really hard so far. Um, you know, we turn a lot of starters on defense and offense as well, so I hope we should have a good season. Uh, what's the mood of the team like? You got to states last year, disappointing mm -hmm. outcome in the first round with Darian. I know you guys are looking to take the next step this year. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting to get back to the state playoffs, but, you know, for us, you know, we want to get even farther for that. You know, we want to get back to the state championship and win that. So, you know, we're really excited to get after it, you know, hopefully get back to that state championship. You're one of the teams that's getting hyped up a lot. I know yeah. you look pretty well in your scrimmage on Monday. Mm -hmm. What's it going to take for you guys to achieve what you hope to? You know, I think one of the big things from last year that stuck with us is that we had so many injuries. So, you know, I think we could really just stay healthy, you know, play our game, you know, play our option football and toughen those defense, I think we'll be good. Well, Ryan, first of all, congratulations on the UConn verbal and uh, good luck this season. Thank you. And joining me right now is uh, one of the players, hard luck players here, unfortunately, Ryan Holbrook of the Stanford football team, who just told me he's going to miss the year with a torn in UCL. Sorry to hear that. Uh, what's your role now with the team? Um, just being a leader, a captain, uh, making sure everybody's showing up, working hard, and uh, yeah, that's all I can really do. I've been helping out with the freshman team. Uh, JV, they want me to help out a lot, um, so that's what I'm doing. How frustrating is it? Uh, How you to ask, to ask you these uh, questions? This is, it's really hard. Uh, as a three-year starting varsity player, um, it's difficult. I mean, I'm going to have to just deal with it and move on. I got lacrosse coming up in the uh, spring, so look forward to that. You get to see the team a little differently than your teammates right now. How are they looking so far? Uh, actually pretty good. Practices, everybody's working hard. I mean, we have a few... Uh, lapses of concentration, I would say, but um, other than that, we're we're looking pretty good. Was it hard in the off season not knowing who your coach was going to be for a while, and is the team having to do a little bit of catch up because of it? Oh, uh, definitely. But we worked hard over the summer, and I I think we we've caught up. I think the off season's been tough with not knowing who, uh, working out and everything. But we've definitely worked so hard to catch up and be where we're, we need to be. Well, Ryan, really feel bad about which your speedy recovery, and uh, I know you'll be there supporting the team and playing a role different than you expected, but in a positive way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, I'll, we're going to work hard, and hopefully see how it comes out. Well, best of luck yeah, to you. Thank you. Hi, this is Dave Rudin at FCAC Football Media Day. And joining me right now is Trinity Catholic, 1,000-yard back, John Michael Bavona. John Michael, I was down at practice the other day. Your line is huge. Uh, it's, it's wonderful uh, getting the handoff and running up and seeing those big guys in front of me. It's, there's nothing better. What's the key to the running game this year? Uh, everybody being on the same page. Uh, last year, we were about uh, getting pushed, and this year, we're about being on the same page, everybody staying right and the same. You lost a lot of people, but you have a lot back. I know the expectations with this team hasn't changed in terms of getting back to the state playoffs. Absolutely not. The expectations are even higher this year. Um, we want to get better. Uh, last year we had a tough loss in the semifinals, uh, but we're coming back stronger. Uh, our offensive line, like I said, the receiver core is wonderful, and Nick Renato is a great leader as a quarterback. What's it like having that new field? This is wonderful. Coming from the grass and stepping back onto the turf, it's great. I love it. John Michael, you know it's going to be a strong year over at uh, Gaglio Field. Good luck. Thank you. And joining me right now, Bridgeport Central's Navon Austin. Navon, you just told me you play everywhere. Uh, how hard is that when you can play so many different positions and you're going to be plugged in where you're most needed? Um, it won't be that difficult because I have a great understanding of all positions, so wherever I'm needed, I'll just perform at the best of my positions. Do you have a favorite position? Uh, right now, one my favorite position is corner. But I'm willing to play free safety and uh, quarterback, running back, receiver, no matter. How's the team been looking in the preseason? Right now, looking, everybody's matured from last year. So, I mean, everybody got faster, stronger. We have a new offense to wing T, so we're going to try to get some W's with our offense because our defense is already good. What's going to be the keys to success? Uh, 
play fast, play hard. Everybody be on the same page. Have great chemistry. Okay, well, Navon, thanks a lot. Wish you the best of luck this year.